All right, good morning, everybody. This is Citywide Gardens. I uploaded a video a little while ago, but it had no audio apparently, so I'm going to try this again. I am coming back from being away for a week. I had a timer set up with a app. I didn't have time to set up my full irrigation system. And thank you to Backyard Gardener. She gave me the inspiration to say that yes, I can do something like that in my own yard. But vacation time got upon me and I didn't get to set it up, but have all the components. I just had the hose set up to a regular house sprinkler. But it looks like some of the hose didn't reach everything. I did pull off some of the dead leaves already from this cucumber plant. Hopefully it's going to survive with what I have on it. Still a tons of flowers. <clears throat> Had a lot of growth. The corn uh, grew about a foot in the last week. So it's almost probably six feet tall. And I have the corn and the cucumbers in the grow bags. I am gonna give the corn a little more fertilizer. I don't know if I'm gonna do cow manure or chicken. It looks like they needs a boost to something because I don't have any ears growing that I can see in the corn. If anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. My bush beans did pretty good. I just moved them around so they could, uh, get some more sun they already have flowers on them so they weren't any worse for the wear over last week we were in the 90s almost every day the pole green beans looks like they took a little hit but hopefully they'll be no worse for the wear hopefully i'll get some flowers and some beans soon now my cherry tomatoes which are all volunteers are survivors <laughs> they're extremely hardy so I already have a bunch of tomatoes under there bunch of tomatoes on the plants just wait for them to start turning red so I can eat them these are my radishes that I left I picked some to take on vacation but they didn't do too well and have these little white caterpillars, white fuzzy caterpillars that seem to eat everything. In one of my last videos, I replanted some of my romaine lettuce from one of these little containers into a five gallon grow bag. And I'll show you what they did. But hopefully everything will bounce back and then I'll have time to put my irrigation in for the rest of the summer. This is what these little caterpillars did to my lettuce. They went up each piece of lettuce and ate it. You see all the little nibble marks all the way up. Here's one of my other cherry tomatoes. A volunteer that I dug up, repotted, and put in this little area over here so it didn't get scorched. It fell over, but again, they're resilient. I have a bunch of tomatoes on the vine there. There's my pretty boy. There's my pretty boy. Here's another volunteer that started way down here inside the fence and uh, brought itself out here. It looks like I ran over a piece of it with the car. But it's still got tomatoes on it, more flowers. Here's the cucumbers again. And there's my beans. Probably would have attached to my car had I been gone any longer. Let's see if I can get to the jungle here. More of the tomatoes come through the fence. And just bend and keep going. Got more fruit everywhere. I know I'm going to have hundreds of cherry tomatoes all summer long. 
And these are the peppers that my coworker had given me. You've seen them in previous videos. They didn't get any water. So how they survived, I guess just from the rain. But I did put a lot of water down in the tray before I left. But they did fantastic. They are peppers from Puerto Rico, so I guess they like this hot, crazy weather. I will put them in the raised bed sometime today. Put them in the empty spot over here where I don't have any tomatoes. Probably take up and cut back some of these other ones so they don't encroach. I have to walk through the green bean jungle here. So again, hopefully everything bounces back. And like I said, if anybody has any suggestions for my corn, I don't see that I had any ears coming up, just all stalk. It would be appreciated. If you can please like and comment and also subscribe, I would appreciate it. And I'll keep you guys posted on how we do. I'll let you know when I put the peppers in and also I'll try to video me putting in the irrigation system as well. Bye.